Hello and welcome to City Beat, the gist of news that drives India's hottest real estate markets. Today, we talk about developments in Mumbai and how these developments will impact the real estate markets of the city. Ongoing redevelopment of chawls in Mumbai have been turned into a nightmare for many residents. According to media reports, developers who are responsible for paying rents to residents for an alternative housing have stopped making the payment. The reports further add that more than 5,000 projects have been hit in the middle owing to insignificant reasons and as a result, developers have stopped making the payment. Developers who carry out the redevelopment work in Mumbai are being offered many incentives by the authorities. Maybe this is the reason why despite the fact that the new development control rules have tasked the Maharashtra Housing Area Development Authority to carry out redevelopment work in Mumbai, a section of residents living in Bombay Development Directorate tenements are insisting they want to do the work on their own. It has to be noted that under the new section, the Development Authority does not require the permission of Chol residents to go ahead with the redevelopment work. However, in light of the fact, the Development Authority may go ahead with its redevelopment plan despite the protests. In a similar development, the old and dilapidated buildings in Mumbai suburbs will also be able to enjoy the benefits extended under the state's redevelopment policy with the Maharashtra state government deciding to extend it to the faraway parts too. According to the new housing policy, over 10,000 old buildings in the suburbs will be eligible for a floor area ratio of 3. Floor area ratio is the ratio of a building's total floor area to the size of the piece of land upon which it is built. This means suburbs in Mumbai will now have taller buildings. Thank you for watching. To know more about property markets in top cities, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram.